Okay, here's the title. Variables on both sides of the equation. What does that mean? This. Take a look at this question. What jumps out at you about this? What's different about this equation compared to all the other ones we've been doing so far? Well, you might notice that there's two of the same variables. But unlike some other ones we've done before, they're on opposite sides of the equal sign. And this is a big barrier wall, and it's not like you can just go 4 plus 2m and throw it together. So you've got a variable here, a variable there. you got to put them together somehow. you got to get rid of one of them. And so that is what we got to handle first when you have a letter on either side of the equal sign. Get rid of one of them because they're going to cause a problem. <clears throat> so the first step is, even before that, to check is check on either side of the equal sign if you can simplify anything. Can you fish anything on either side? Can you do any circles and squares on either side of the equal sign? Well, there's no fishing because there's no brackets. Um, you can't do circles and squares because that's uh, an M and that's a number. You can't add those together and you can't add those or subtract those together. So first check to simplify. In this case we did and nothing allowed us to simplify. And then after that, if there's letters on either side of the equal sign, We have to get rid of one of the letters. What a fancy term is variables. Who do you get rid of? Just like the AS, uh, the um, the stuff we did last lesson with um, two-step equations. There's a better choice out of these two. You can get rid of either one of them, it doesn't really matter, but there's an easier way and a hard way. The easier one is, the one that you get rid of first, is to get rid, get rid, we'll put, make that one word, get rid, the new word I just made up, of the small one first. Okay, so let's get rid of the small one first. 4m, 2m. How do, which one's smaller? Obviously 2m is. How do we get rid of 2m? Let me just erase all this here. I hope wrote it down already. How do you get rid of 2m? Not just the 2, the entire 2 and the m. I want to get rid of all that, make it all disappear. Well, how do I do it? How do you get, get rid of 2m? I'm going to subtract 2m from this side. And I can do the exact same thing on the other side. Just get rid of that. that makes the 2 and the M completely go away. You're left with negative 2 over here on this side. On this side, you have 4M minus 2M. Because they're like terms, we can subtract, and that gives you 2M. Bring down the minus 6. And now, hey, that's a more comfortable looking question. We've, we're used to seeing questions like that. 2m minus 6. So what we did there, again, there's a letter on each side or a variable on each side of the equal sign. Pick on the small one. Get rid of it completely. And now we have one variable. And now it's easy to deal with. So remember, there's two things bugging the letter here. Which one do we get rid of first? Well, the one that's adding or subtracting first, we do follow the SAM dev rules. Get rid of the adding subtracting thing first. The six, we're gonna add a six. Do the same to the other side. What happens to these sixes? They're gone. We're left with just two M here. There's the equal sign. Negative two plus six, you're down two, you're up six, you're up four. And now, Let's take it home. 2 times m, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. Same on the other side. 
the twos cancel out. M equals two. So getting back to my steps, check to see if you can simplify either side of the equation. We couldn't here. Um, get rid of one of the letters. The one we should get rid of is the uh, the smaller one. And the fourth step is just take it one step at a time. Do one step at a time. I don't know if I really, they really deserve to have four written steps like that, but you get the idea. Bottom line, letter on either side of the equal sign, pick on the small one, get rid of it, and then it'll be something that you're used to. This one here, there we go again. There's a letter there, there's a letter there. They're on either side of the equal sign. We gotta get rid of one of them, which we pick on. Pick on the small one, pick on the small kid. And let's get rid of 2y. I want the 2 and the y gone. To get rid of the whole thing, I subtract 2y. Do the same to the other side. That gets rid of the 2y completely. Now I'm left with negative 9. So that negative 9 comes down here. Bring down everything else. Well first, 6y minus 2y. That, those are like terms, 6y minus 2y, 4y. 3 is just the 3. And now, Sam Deb, get rid of this subtracting adding thing first. That's that. Minus 3. It's gone. Minus 3 from that side. We're left with 4y over here. You're down 9. You're down 3. That means you're down 12. 4 is multiplying the y. We get rid of it by dividing. Same on the other side. The 4s are gone. You're left with y equals. Signs are different, so it's going to be negative. 12 divided by 4 is 3. y equals negative 3. Okay. So far, we haven't had to simplify on either side of the equal sign. It was already simplified right there. What about this one here? Number three, take a look on this side of the equal sign. 3w plus 4w plus 2. What can we do? Can we simplify this in any way? Because when you first look at this question, there's, oh my god, there's one, two, there's three letters. But the good thing is since t these two are on the same side, we can just do circles and squares with these two. 3w plus 4w, because they're on the same side, just throw them together, is 7w. Bring down the plus 2, and then everybody else. So always look to simplify on either side of the equal sign first. Then you'll get into something that we've gotten used to. There's a 7w, there's a 5w. Who should we get rid of first? The smaller one. So far, all the smaller ones, just by fluke, have been on the right side. Um, so 5, let's get rid of the 5. Subtract 5w, subtract 5w. We're left with here 7 minus 5, 7w minus 5w, which is 2w. Bring down the plus 2. We got the equal sign. That goes away. You're left with 10. And now, good old Sam Deb. That 2, that 2, get rid of the adding subtracted one first. Minus 2 from this side, minus 2 from that side. That makes the 2's go away. You're left with 2w, 10 minus 2, which is 8. And now the 2 is multiplying the w, the opposite is dividing. Same to the other side. The 2's are gone, w equals 4. Simplify first, then do all the stuff. Okay. Again, there's no reason to, to freak out when you have a long question. It's just follow the steps, step by step. How about this one? Can we simplify anything on this side, m plus 9? No, you can't, because m's and 9's, or numbers and letters, are two different things, so you can't simplify that at all. Can you do anything here? This reminds us of... Fishing. The 3 catches the M. That means 3 times M is 3M. 
three times. Don't forget the negative one. Three times negative one is negative three. And then bring everybody else down. Now it's what we're used to. Oh my god, the small one's again on the right hand side. Why do I keep doing that? <clears throat> Sometimes it will be on this side. I'm sure. But uh, yeah, M, remember M is the same thing as 1M. It's the same thing. So to get rid of 1M or M, subtract M from this side, subtract M from that side, the M's go away. You're left with over here 3M minus. 1m is 2m minus 3. There's the equal sign. Bring down the 9. Two things bug in the letter. You know what to do. Get rid of the adding subtracting first. Let's add 3. Same to the other side. The 3's go away. You're left with 2m here equals 9 plus 3, which is 12. The 2 is multiplying the m. Get rid of it by dividing. Same to the other side. m equals 6. Done. Okay. Take a look, see at this one. Again, simplify first. Check to see if you can simplify first. Can you? On this side, can we simplify anything? 9k minus 7k is 2k. Right? Circles and squares, they're like terms, so you can make 2k out of them. What about on this side, what can we do? Fishing. 6, catches the fish in the brackets. 6 times k is 6k. 6 times 10 is 60. 6 times positive 10 is positive 60, so it becomes a plus 60. Okay, now what? Well, the little ones on this side. Now, before you go running along and, and, and follow my rules blindly, you got to use a little common sense. These, are, these rules that I'm giving you, they're kind of just like general rules. You don't always 100% use them. got to use your common sense. Slow down a little bit here. So, yeah, 2K is smaller than 6K, and normally we would get rid of the 2K first. But what's going to happen if I do get rid of this 2K? If I get rid of this 2K, I'll do it in, I'll do it in a different color because I'm not actually going to do it. I'll do it in red. If I get rid of 2k here, and I get rid of 2k there, this becomes just 0, and that becomes 4k plus 60. And what are you going to do with that? That's just weird. So let's not do that. You have nothing on one side of the equal sign, and the whole thing, like just like on a teeter-totter, one end has nothing on it. The whole thing just falls apart. So you see that coming, and like chess, you see that coming a few steps ahead, avoid it. What we can do is get rid of this 6k first, so we can avoid having 0 on one side of the equal sign. I know it goes against my pick on the small one, but you know, and this actually shows you what happens if you just happen to pick on the big one. What's going to happen is when you pick on the big one, get rid of the 6, subtract 6 from this side too. Can you see why I, meant I suggested for the other questions that you pick on the small one? What are you going to get here? You'll get a negative number. That's all I was running from. That's the only reason why I say pick on the small one. Because if you pick on the big letter and you get rid of that, you'll get a negative answer. 2 minus 6k is negative 4k. But you should be able to handle negatives, no problem. And you get 60 here. Divide this by negative 4. It's so tempting just to say, oh, minus 4 plus 4. No, no, no. It's negative 4 multiplied by k. So we divide by negative 4 divide by negative 4. The 4's are gone. k equals... And if you don't know what 60 divided by 4 is, you can always use a calculator. 60 divided by, and I have to do 4 first, then negative, negative 15. Hopefully you know it in your head. Negative 15. There you are. And even 
getting a zero on this side, you could probably work it out and get the same answer too. I'm just fine. I'm just doing little techniques here that I think um, are, are the least confusing. Speaking of confusing, check out these guys here. Look at all these F's and look at all these negative signs. First thing, check to simplify. Can we simplify anything on this side of the, 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 the um, equal sign? F and 7. Nope, we can't. How about here? Yes, we can. There's an 8F there and a 4F there. Remember, you circle the sign in front as well. This becomes 12F. Bring everybody else down. Minus 21 plus 7, negative 10F. Okay, now who's the small one out of these two? Negative 10F or 12F? The small one is here, the 10F, the negative 10F. It's really small. Negative 10, the opposite is positive 10F. Add 10F on this side. When that happens, the 10Fs are gone, you're left with 7. The equal sign is all lined up. You get 22F minus 21. 21 we want to get rid of. Now it's just like one of those two-step problems. Something times, 22 times the F, and it's being subtracted by 21. Get rid of the adding subtracting thing first. Add 21, add 21, you get 28. These cancel out. You're left with, on this side, 22F. How do you get the F by itself? Well, it's being bugged by the 22, which is multiplying it. Opposite is dividing. Divide this side by 22. It's like, uh-oh, I see a problem here, don't we? 28 divided by 22. A few things you could do here. You can do this into a fraction, where F is. 22 goes into there once with 6 left over over 22, and you can reduce that. This 3 goes into both those numbers, 3 <coughs> goes into there twice, sorry, 2 go oh, they're around. Two goes into there, into both numbers, 2 goes into there 3 times, 2 goes in there 11 times, so you can have 1 and 3 elevenths is your answer, sorry, not just that, that could be your answer, or you can use a calculator, 28 divided by 22, which is 28 divided by 22 is 1.27272727. The only reason why there's a 3 there is because it's that's where the display ends and they have to round the last digit. But it's 1.27 and the 27 repeats. So you could also say it's f equals 1.27. And since both the 2 and the 7 are repeating, you put a line over both of them. Either one is good. Again, they don't always make nice round numbers. All right, so uh, we, are, we are getting a little bit trickier. I'll give you three questions this time. See how you do on them. We're getting pretty close to the end of this algebra stuff. Talk to you later. Bye.